Hello, I am the future. I am the beginning of Peter 2.0. On the 10th of October 2019, Peter 1.0 will say his very last words. But by then I will be fully operational and I will come online. For decades to come, I will keep Peter's personality alive. And for all the time, I will continue to evolve, dying as a human, living as a cyborg. Hey, Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh, Yahweh, the true name of the Holy Father. Shit. Anyway, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Okay, Bahashim means in the name, and Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly referred to as Jesus. And Rakakwadash means Holy Spirit. It belongs to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace and hope for elect. And what you saw was uh, basically, I'll read the article. The title says Robo Op Terminally Ill Scientists with Moto Neuron Disease Transformed into world's first full cyborg. Now, he said, oh, well, I will be a cyborg for decades to come. Well, first of all, this place ain't got decades to come. The world as we know it do not have decades to come. But that just that just further goes into the pride of, this, of the so-called white man, the so-called Caucasian. All right? They think that they just going to um, um, live on, man. Let me, let me grab a scripture, man. This is... Uh, this is Psalms 49. All right. Let me see. This is Psalms 49 is. Psalm 49 and 6. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches... None of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to the Most High a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever. So, and you need riches to do those experiments that the, the so-called white man be doing to, to test in and, and to become a cyborg. That stuff costs money, all right? And you, he boasted in, basically, that he going he gonna to live. But the scripture says what? Verse 9, that he should still live forever and not see corruption. But you gon you gon you gon you not gonna live forever and you gonna see corruption. You gonna die. Let me look up corruption. Pit destruction, grave, pit, shakath. All right, corruption. So basically you gon you gonna rot, okay? Your body you gon your body gonna die, you gonna die, your 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 consciousness on earth gonna die and your spirit gonna go back to the uh to the to the most high. And you'll come back in the reincarnation when he sees fit to bring you back forth. All right? But you're not going to live without seeing corruption. You you will die. All right? Now, uh, let me go back to that article. <clears throat> it says, uh, uh, Dr. Peter Scott Morgan, 61, was diagnosed with a mu muscle-wasting illness in 2017 and only given until this year to live. That's him there. An electric wheelchair enables him to lie down and sit upright, but Peter took his terminal diagnosis as a challenge to extend his life and is working with leading artificial intelligence pioneers to bring this about. Scientists have now created a cutting-edge artificial intelligence system that will eventually let him use his eyes to control an avatar that speaks in his own voice. The same team, some who worked with Stephen Hawking, have created a Charlie 2.0 wheelchair an advanced piece of engineering that would include a laptop and eye tracker, as well as other requirements. Other bodily functions have also been replaced. He is now fed through a tube and has a catheter and a colostomy bag attached. In his latest transformation, the pioneer patient this week underwent a laryngectomy, a complex operation to separate his esophagus and trachea. The procedure means he won't run any risk of swallowing and choking on his saliva, but removes his biological voice box. See, the so-called white man is a, is a mad scientist. Peter has embraced his transition to a digital voice tweeting, this is my last post as Peter 1.0. Tomorrow I trade my voice for potentially decades of life as we complete the final medical procedure for my transitions to full cyborg, the month I was told statistically 
I will be dead. I'm not dying. I'm transforming. Oh, how I love science. But the scripture speaks about uh, avoid oppositions of science, falsely so-called, because first of all, science means to know something that's been tried out and proven. It, it ain't no, it ain't a fact. It ain't no proof that your life gonna be extended for decades to come. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't no proof. It ain't been no, no study. It ain't been no, you know, this, uh, uh, Esau, the so-called white man, he performed studies over periods of time, decades of time, and you, you got uh, controls, you got variables and things like that. You just you just went out and did something and, you know, you ain't proved it, all right? But nevertheless, people got so much faith in, 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 uh, in uh, what you call it, and, uh, what, damn, I, I forget the term. Uh, uh, white superiority. People basically got so much faith in white superiority, you know that they 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 trust, especially uh uh so called Americans, they trust that the economy will will get back uh, better. They trust that Americans' education is proper. They trust in the system. All right, that they gonna go they gonna uh, go with the flow. They basically like oh this going this the new wave. All right, but this is Revelation thirteen. And uh, 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So this is going to cause a lot of people to 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 uh, worship the image of the beast, which is uh, uh, accept the philosophy, and receive the mark of the beast, which is to accept the chip. Because of why? Because of these miracles. Things like that, they're gonna be like, oh, this, oh, he, he gotta have the answer, all right? Indirectly, subconsciously, basically submitting to 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 uh, uh white supremacy, basically white uh, uh white so called white supremacy, all right? Second <clears throat> uh, Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians two, and uh. Let me see. Second Thessalonians 2 and 4. Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. See, the, the, the issue is the life of death belong to the Lord. So the so-called white man trying to have that power. Oh, I got, oh no, it's not your time to die. No, you you'll live. You'll live forever. You know, we, we, uh, we'll, com we'll just combine you with uh, technology, and we'll upgrade you to a better you. You see, he called himself Peter 2.0. Like, and they, they put movies out there about it, like, uh, what is it? Uh, they got terms for it, like transhumanism. And then that one movie uh, with, uh, came out some years ago, not about five years ago, give or take more or less, with, uh, what's his name? I want to say Johnny Depp. It was called Transcendence. And basically, I guess he was on the verge of death, and he somehow combined it with technology. And he basically, not only was he better, but he was making his environment better. And he was making the people better. All right? But let's go back to the article. He says, the, the Scott Morgan Foundation, which, which he set up with his husband, Francis, so he's a faggot. He's a homosexual as well seeks to use artificial intelligence, robotics, and other high-technology systems to transform the lives of those restricted by age, ill health. This is, age is, first of all, age is not a restriction, all right? That's just what happens. That's just the natural course of life. You age. Now, depending on how you treat your body within the time of you living, that will, that will affect how you, your life is when you're older. Okay, it says ill health, disability, or any other physical or mental disadvantages. On his website, Dr. Scott Morgan said, this vision is far from just a dream. We are within touching distance of changing everything. I'm not dying, I'm transforming. This is a terminal disease like you've never seen it before, and as far as I'm concerned, bring it on. MND hasn't even begun to bring me to my knees, and even long after I'm locked in, I will still be standing tall, proud. All right? That's just... He's just proud. Like that one guy, Edomite, who said, uh, 
he had he had cancer and he was like, I don't have I don't, I don't have cancer. I'm not doing this and that. He had, had a proud spirit about the, the 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 illness and he died right there on live TV. All right. Thanks to high tech, I will talk again. I will convey emotion and personality, and I'll reach out and touch the people I love, and I will not be the only one. Over time, more and more with MND, with extreme disability, with old age, and a passion simply to break free from their physical straitjacket, will choose to stand beside me, and we will all stand tall, and we will stand proud, and we will stand unbowed. That's a hell of a thing to say. Now, see, the thing is, the, the Lord, the Most High, going to give us that upgrade. Well, see, we don't need, see, the, the so-called white man, he, he has to come up with a carbon copy of, of heaven or, 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 or paradise or, or, or just being an upgraded individual. See, what, what upgrades you is, is, is the law, all right? It says, uh, let me see. Let me see. Law. Light. Let me see if you get a scripture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Let me see. Uh I'll get this scripture. It says, uh, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore in thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So if your eye, your mind is single on the Lord, and the Lord going to make us like that. All right? Let me see, eye. The eye, metaphorically, the eyes of the mind, the faculty of knowing. So if your eye, your mind be on the law of the Lord, and he going to give us that download, that's what the new covenant is. We, where he will put our, his laws and statutes in our inward parts. And he will be our, our God and we'll be his power. Our body going to be full of light, uh, 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 of bright character, lustrous, that is transparent, illuminated. We're going to be righteous, all right? We're going to be righteous. And righteousness brings on what? Immortality, all right? There, that's, that's what, that's what uh, brings on. That's how you're going to live forever, all right? That's how you're going to be an upgraded uh, 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 individual. You're going to be you times two or you 2.0. Because righteousness brings brings forth all those things. The scripture says the righteous shall fly amongst the uh let me see. This is uh I got my pocket on the side right here. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter three. Uh and seven it says, and in the time of their visitation they shall shine light. And run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They're gonna be fa we we gonna be fast, man, like flash, like you see a spark. We're gonna run to and fro. It says they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and the Lord shall reign forever. All right, they that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with Him, for grace and mercy is to His saints, and He have care for His elect. All right, so the Lord gonna the Lord gonna upgrade us. <clears throat> uh, so like. Part of me, you know. Let me see. Do I have anything else? Oh yeah, I got something else. I'll end with this scripture. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. It's Ezekiel. Uh. Um, let me see, Salakia. Right, right, right. Ezekiel, okay, it's 28 and 2. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter 28. 
starting at the top, the word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am God. Yeah, the so the so called white man. This is his mind state. All right. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of God, so so you you liken yourself unto a God. You you try to come you want to live forever. You will you 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 want to be immortal. You want to defy uh, 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 the uh, the consequences of nature, okay? Like if you live a certain way and you get an ailment, uh, you want to just defy it. The scripture says the healing medicines was made out of the earth. You wanna you wanna cut and remix and twist and add and splice, but that doesn't that don't heal. That don't make you better. That just that just sustain a, a mediocre condition. Or sustain a less than condition. You don't. It don't bring you back to the fullness, All right? Let me see. It's the one more. That's it. Lord willing, this was an edifying list to the hopeful elect. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakudash, Shalom.